Hi everyone, welcome to our quick little tutorial for our new Love Garland. Uh, this one is pretty cool because it has a lot of engraving on it. I'm going to show you uh, how we completed the project. We used some French linen Annie Sloan, which is a nice taupey um, brown gray color. I'm using some baby wipes, just some regular old Walmart ordinary baby wipes. Um, and just dipping it into our chalk paint and I'm giving it a wipe which simulates a stain so our sort of faux stain style I'm just going to quickly do my other banner pieces here this one is blank because it's going to get the heart on which represents the O in love so I'm just going to get that on there and then I have one more of the banner pieces to do here. You can see I previously did this one, so it's dry already. And the tricky part is not getting all the paint down into that engraving. So I'm getting a very small amount of paint on my baby wipe. I'm wiping off the excess. You could even dab some off onto a paper towel or whatever your work surface is. I'm going to very lightly go back and forth across my piece. I don't want to jam paint down into uh, the engraving. So I'm just very lightly getting it on here. Um, I'm gonna kind of play with it, turn it around, whatever works for you. Um, you just wanna use very little paint. I know sometimes people look at the paint we send and they think, wow, she didn't give me enough, but truly, truly we did. We always send you more paint than we ever use when we do our samples, so you will have plenty of paint. And it's water-based if you have to add a little bit. You always can uh, add some water to it and you should be fine to finish your project. So that's all there really is. It is just um, wiped on with a baby wipe, very little paint. Uh, I did the same thing with the pale pink heart. I also wiped it onto my other hearts as well as my letters. Now you could choose if you want to, to use the foam brush, the side of it. I'm just gonna push with my finger in an up and down motion. And you could also do that with all of your non uh, engraved pieces. You don't wanna do this with your engraved pieces because you would have a ton of paint down in those um, engraved words. Okay, so I'm just getting that on there. Um, sometimes I do it this way and then give it a little sand if I want it to seem um, a little more uh, rustic or worn. You can maybe tell the difference in the camera between the one I did with the baby wipe and the one I just put on with the foam brush. Um, they won't dry much differently. Um, you are going to also in your kit get some metallic paint. So I'm gonna grab a little metallic paint on my foam brush here. And you can use that metallic paint in a couple different ways. I'm gonna use it on my hearts here and I'm simply swiping some on my edges, just kind of going straight across to give it a little bit of character. If you happen to see the tutorial for our world round, um, I kind of did the same thing with the pieces of the world. So I do a lot of holding with my finger or my fingernail. The, the pink is dry on everything except for that V that I just painted. So just getting whoops, a little bit of metallic across here. Um, so I'm going to do that with the hearts. I'm going to add a little bit on here. Again, I have that engraving, so I'm going to be careful. I'm just putting it on the edges of that heart, just very lightly. My paintbrush is very dry. There's hardly any paint on there at all. You can use a push pin, a pin, um, a picker, whatever, if you need to, and kind of get some of that paint out there if you have a problem. Um, sometimes you could also use a dry bristled brush to sort of sweep at it to get that out of there. 
Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put some of that metallic on these pieces as well. Maybe um, I might do that. Just a little, little accent of that on there. Um, I kind of like that. Um, I will go ahead and do that um, to all of those. Um, in your kits, you have some super glue, poke it open with the little top part, and you wanna make sure you're very careful with super glue. Um, in the shop, if you come to class, we use the Loctite, it's a little bit easier to control. Um, with these, they are um, marked for where your letters go, so I'm just going to put a couple drops down here. Truly, that's all the super glue you need. Um, it's not a lot. Don't write your name with it because it will squeeze out all over the place. I'm going to just position that down there. Okay. So there's the one without the metallic. Let me put this guy on. Truly just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine drops of glue, all we need. If I counted that right, maybe there was eight. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put this guy right down here. And there we go. So what do you think? A little metallic on the edges, no metallic. I think I like the metallic. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just uh, add a little bit here across my piece. I definitely could add it to uh, the letters as well, if I want. So that's kind of fun. Um, easy to do. Again, very, very dry on here. Um, we don't want to let this piece uh, behind, so we'll give a little, little tiny bit of our metallic. Our heart is going to go right onto here. So again, I'm gonna do four, five, six, seven drops of glue on there. That's all you need. I'm gonna position this. It's lining up the point with the point. Okay, so there we've got our L, O. We'll finish up our V. Uh, oopsie, need a little more metallic here. I'll do my V. It is dry now. Again, four, five, six drops of glue, that little skinny part. Get this lined up where it needs to be. So there's our L, O, V, and E. We'll put a heart at the beginning and one at the other end of our banner. And all they need is strung up on our twine. So super quick, fun, and easy project. Um, I love the neutral colors of this one. Thank you, guys.